Also, here's another interesting story. The day we got to Milan, we had to take a train in from the airport and then a subway. And when we're in the subway station, and I'm, I'm going to be very clear, I did research to find out what the proper terminology is to be using in this story. And I believe that I am using terms that are that are acceptable. When you go to buy your subway tickets, um, if you have bags with you, there's a group of and I, I, I'm using the term gypsies. OK, and I've looked this up. I thought it was proper to say the Romani people, but from my research, it is acceptable to describe the Romani people. I guess it's it's technically correct and it's even the official description in some countries, which maybe maybe that's also biased. I don't know. A group of Romani people slash gypsies hang out at the central Milan subway station. And the second you walk up to try to buy a subway ticket and if you have bags with you, they come over and they say English, English and start to, quote, help you out. Now, the helping, as you can imagine, Lewis, is not particularly helpful unless you want to have money stolen from you. And um, I started trying to get two subway tickets with my credit card and they start to explain, no, credit cards don't work here. And I look at it and it says there's a clear button for Visa, you know, and I say, no, it says it right there. They say, no, it's blocked. I say, thank you. I'm, I'm going to go to a different machine. I go to a different machine and a different individual that was part of this group of Romani people came up and started uh, trying to, quote, help me out. And I said, I need two subway tickets. They said, you have to have cash. I said, you know, I don't know that I believe it, but fine, we'll use cash. I brought a 10 euro bill. That was what I had left over from the last time I was in Europe. I hand it to them. They get me two tickets and they say one euro tip for me for helping you. And I say, whatever, take a euro. And then they walk away and I'm left there with two subway passes. And I say, wait a second, I started with a 10 euro bill and they took a euro tip. That should mean I have nine dollars of subway fare here and I have two tickets each worth a euro fifty three euro total. So you know what? They, they got seven euro out of me for, quote, helping me figure out how to get my uh, my subway passes. I was initially really, really annoyed. And then my girlfriend made a good point, which is, you know what? It's sad that this is how they have to try to make a living. Um, the seven euro I lost is not going to be the end of the world for me. I know what to watch out for in the future, but I don't really have to be that mad. And you know what? I, I agreed. I said, you know what? That That's absolutely fine. It's I would really not like to be in the position where that's what I have to do to make money. And I said, forget it. I'm moving on with my day. Yeah, I mean, they they basically stole probably the equivalent of what, like ten dollars from you, nine, ten dollars. Yeah, about ten bucks. I got to. And, and you know what? The reality is, I know that the Romani people are really not treated well in many parts of, of, of Europe. It's pro I, I can't imagine that they don't have difficulties as individuals obtaining jobs because there's probably pre hiring prejudice against the Romani people, also known as gypsies by some. And in the end, I found it hard to really be that angry about it. It's uh, it's it's really it's a sad history that that we that we see in terms of discrimination in Europe against them. And I said, uh, I'm moving on and they've got their seven euro. Hopefully they, they can they can use it. Certainly, I, I think there are probably a million more things that I can think of that could have happened to you that would uh, that would infuriate you and, and make you more angry. This this could have been a lot worse. Absolutely.